Errol Spence just let everybody know he's sitting back watching and laughing at all his haters on the internet because he get what he want and he too blessed. We're going to talk about what EJ had to say recently, just right before the announcement came that Terrence Crawford is not fighting Tim Zoo because Tim Zoo is fighting Keith Thurman. We're going to talk about all that in this video, but make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's cook. It's been a whole bunch of Errol Spence hate and slander going down. Now, Errol Spence, he came out on a few different occasions letting everybody know, hey, I'm going to give Bud all his props. He beat me. Yeah, I did have, you know, a few injuries that I was dealing with. I give him his props. Good shit, Bud. But I want my run back. Everybody was running around talking about Errol Spence don't deserve a rematch. Bud Crawford came out and he basically chunked the deuce to Errol Spence and says he glad that whole Errol Spence fight and all that is behind him. He was moving on. Then Bud came out and started calling out Tim Zoo. And everybody like Tim Zoo, you got Jerron Ennis at 147 with your IBF belt that they just stripped you of. You can go back and get that. That's bigger than the Tim Zoo fight because the Tim Zoo fight is going to be in the U.S. Tim Zoo is not big in the U.S. He is big in Australia. But of course, all of the Bud fanatics, all of a sudden, y'all was on board with Tim Zoo. Y'all wanted to see Tim Zoo, Terrence Crawford so, so bad. Errol Spence needs to retire. And then y'all started talking about, no, Errol Spence needs to fight Boots and let Terrence Crawford fight Tim Zoo. It was everything but Terrence Crawford in Errol Spence rematch and Terrence Crawford in Jerron Boots in his match. Tim Zhu, Tim Zhu this, and everybody was an advocate for Tim Zhu. Errol Spence, he could fight Boots. Let Errol Spence fight Boots. When everybody knows that Errol Spence is not fighting at 147 no more, he been telling y'all this for years. After he fought Bud, he was moving up to 154 because he can't make the weight no more. <laughs> so that was kind of funny to me, right? But now once Bud spoke out and said that he wanted to fight Tim Zoo next, like I said, all his fans was on board. They was acting like Tim Zoo is the best fight out there in boxing for Terrence Crawford. But meanwhile, we hadn't heard anything else from Errol Spence. Ever since he had tweeted and then deleted his tweet and told Terrence Bud Crawford, basically quit being a crybaby. Give me my run back. I need that run back. So since then, we hadn't heard anything from EJ <laughs> until now, until now. But before I get into what EJ just had posted yesterday, let's get into the announcement that was made earlier today. So we've been all wanting to know, when is PBC coming back? What fights is PBC going to put on when they come back? And they just made a huge announcement. And surprisingly, which really shocked me, they announced that, that Keith Thurman was coming back after being out of the ring over two years once again. And he is fighting Tim Zoo, not Bud Crawford. Keith Thurman is getting that Tim Zoo smoke. Now, I don't know how I feel about that fight. Keith Thurman been out of the ring way, way too long. And we continue to see this with PBC fighters. Being out of the ring a long, long time and then going straight in and facing an A-level opponent. And it's not ending well. Inactivity is a career ender, right? All of these PBC fighters that's stepping in to these big, huge fights after being inactive for a long time they all losing now i don't count jamal charlo because jamal charlo's opponent wasn't on that level but if jamal charlo had a stepped in against a canelo alvarez or david benavidez he would have got beat down to you know what i'm saying you just can't go in the ring inactive for that long and fight an upper echelon opponent like these opponents that you know these fighters is facing like a jamal charlo and um, Errol Spence and so on and so on It just don't turn out well Shit, even Cool Boy Step He was inactive for a long time So, with all that being said man, I don't even know how I feel About Keith Thurman getting in there 
with Tim Zhu. I don't think that Keith Thurman going to be able to take that pressure. He's been out of the ring too long. But we'll see. But, you know, it's an intriguing fight. And it's a fight that I'm definitely going to be tuned in to watch. So yesterday, EJ, he posted on his Instagram story. And he posted a picture of Michael Jordan. And I'm showing it to y'all right here. Laughing, looking at his laptop. And he says, too blessed. Now, I looked at that. And I took it as he's laughing at all his haters on the internet saying what's his next move is going to be. He going to be retired. He needs to do this and he needs to do this. And Terrence Bud Crawford's not fight Errol Spence next. He's going to fight Tim Zhu because that's what he said. And he's just laughing because he's too blessed to be worried about what all these haters is saying on the internet when they don't know what the hell they talking about. Now, he posted that yesterday. Now today, like I said, we got the big announcement that Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman, they getting it on. <laughs> it seems that Errol Spence probably already knew that announcement ahead of time. And he was laughing at all these suckers on the internet. Now, this changes things for Terrence Crawford. Because, yeah, Bud is acting like he chunking the deuce to Errol Spence rematch. But see, Bud forgot one thing that I've been telling people. Errol Spence is a PBC fighter. Errol Spence has been under Al Heyman for a, a long time. EJ got a very close relationship with Al Heyman. Terrence Bud Crawford, the outsider looking in. You think you could call shots and tell people who you going to fight over on the PBC and you not even signed with them and you still refuse to sign a deal with them other than that, you know, Errol Spence deal you signed. And now you telling everybody that you're not going to go through with the rematch with Errol Spence and everybody that you calling out Tim Zoo, you called out Jamel Charlo in the past and then you took that back and said you weren't going to fight him. But Canelo Alvarez, all these opponents are under the PBC. They're under Al Heyman. So you can't jump a fighter that Al has a very close relationship with and think you're going to get a fight with one of these other fighters under his promotional company. It don't work like that, dog. <laughs> you got to give EJ what you owe him. That man sacrificed everything and gave everything that he had worked for or earned to you. You know what I'm saying? He gave up his A side to you just so he can make the fight happen and you think you're gonna be able to run off and not give him that smoke back now i'm not sitting here and saying that he gonna beat you i ain't saying that he gonna beat bud but i am saying that you at least owe him you owe him his run back you know what i'm saying they're not finna let you run off like that that's what you thought dog the whole time you thought that you was getting the Tim Zoo fight, right? <laughs> ah, they was working out a deal with Tim Zoo and Keith Thurman. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Drop a comment in the comment section. I know y'all biting blood out your bottom lip and y'all mad right now. But y'all already know how I do. Diego talking that boxing again, and I'm gone. It's up now, I slide, glide, choking on that needle, two miles per hour, so everybody see.